jokes, 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 jokes. Seahawk jokes. Thank you, Christina. And thank you, Clayton, for allowing me to lose at horseshoes, thus I'm having to read Seahawk jokes. What is the difference between Russell Wilson and Tom Brady? Russell Wilson got schooled. Whoa! That was a horrible throw. <laughs> All right, uh, why can't Russell Wilson use the phone anymore? Because he can't find the receiver. Joe liked that one in particular. Uh, how are the Seahawks like my neighbors? They cannot pick up a single yard. Oh, enough of the shenanigans. Let's get down to some headlines. <laughs> Marvel-themed Simpsons short coming to Disney Plus. I think it's based on the Loki thing, but uh, that's pretty cool. I like the Simpsons, many people do, and Marvel's pretty cool too, and that Loki show is pretty awesome. Big Brother producers reveal the opening twist for season 23, including a brand new competition. Uh, Big Brother's still on? I didn't, Survivor I get. Big Brother, I didn't know this was still happening, but one of the best scenes, I used to be a religious watcher of uh, Big Brother, one of the best scenes is right here. Dude trying to dance. Can never stop. I can watch that over and over and over again and never stop laughing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dwayne Johnson targets Christmas action adventure red one. You know you've really succeeded in life and as an actor uh, when you get your Christmas action movie. Yeah. All right, so uh, it is Friday. It is Friday before the 4th of July, so hopefully everyone's gonna have a fun and very safe 4th of July. It's gonna be warm, low 90s, so still drink your water, eat some watermelon. It's got lots of uh, water in it, so it's pretty tasty as well. Uh, but if you're going out to get some fireworks, always be very, very careful with fireworks. I myself have been injured by fireworks. Many people have. So you always want to be super careful. And we sent NOTP for you out today to go check out a fireworks stand, buy a few fireworks. We gave him a list of the good stuff and he's going to demonstrate maybe what to do and maybe what not to do. Let's see how it goes for NOTP for you. Fireworks. Hello there, how you doing? Hey, welcome to Phantom Fireworks, how can I help you? Oh, let's see, I was sent here by Grand Moth Tarkin to buy fireworks to celebrate the victory over the Filthy Rebellion. Congratulations. So, let me ask, do you have any Ewok Friars? No, we do not have those. Jawa Sludgers? No Jawa Sludgers. Lightsaber Flashers? No. Sith Lightning Cracklers? No Sith Lightning Crackers. Oh boy, oh, man. Moth Tarkin's gonna be upset. Give me the most powerful thing you've got. I have some ground blue flowers. Here, this is what he needs, right here. Ooh, ground blooms. I'll take them, he's gonna be so proud of me. <laughs> so let me pay for that, okay? He's gonna use American money. All right, that's my Galactic credit card. Don't you put any extra stuff on that. Would you like us to text you a receipt? Uh, send it through like galactic, intergalactic stuff you. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I'll do it. All right. All right. Cool. This is going to work great. Thanks. All right. Oh, this Grandma Target's going to be so proud. Would you like your card back? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I almost missed that opportunity. This thing looks amazing. A ground bloom flower. Now, it's no Ewok fryer. But we'll see what it does. Hopefully, Grandma Tarkin is super happy with me with this, but we should probably test it out before we send it to him. All right? So, I'm gonna go right here. We're gonna test it right here, guys, all right? For the Empire! Uh, maybe we should call somebody. 
okay, I'm sure he is fine. I'm sure he's fine. Well, you know, he'll, he's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's NLTP for you. He's always fine. Moving right along to a movie pick for the week. Of course, what do we do? We watch movies, man, on the weekend, and it's a holiday movie weekend. And there is a movie named specifically for the 4th of July. Well, there's a, several, actually. It was born on the 4th of July, which is very on the nose. Uh, but this one is Independence Day. Yeah, Independence Day with Will Smith and Bill Pullman came out in 1996. I think I did this last year, but that's okay because if you didn't, if you watched it last year, you probably haven't watched it since. You should watch it again. It's a great movie. So it came out in 1996. This is a really, really cool movie. Uh, special effects were, this is when they started blowing up big things and really got cool. Uh, special effects for the space stuff, for all kinds of things. A uh, slow start a little bit to build up the characters. Really good though, because we like that part. And then there's some kind of silly spots to it, which actually lends to the fun of the movie. So this is mostly an action movie, aliens invading the planet and us fighting back. Uh, there's some good comedy in it. So really, really enjoyable movie. Like I said, if you haven't seen it in a long time, you should check it out again. Okay, and where can you watch this? Hulu, if you got Hulu, you got it. If you got HBO Max, you got it. If you got Amazon Prime, you got it. Otherwise, about $2.99, YouTube, Apple, all that kind of stuff, all right? Go check that out this weekend. Great movie, Independence Day. Okay, now moving right along, we're gonna check out what the national day is for today. We know it will be on Sunday, because it's the 4th of July, but we'll just check out what the national day is today. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. Yay! Off to the weekend we go. And a three-day weekend at that. Because 4th of July falls on a Sunday, so we'll be off on Monday. But it is Friday. It's gotten warm again. And, you know, it's that day. It's kind of stinky on a Friday to go out on a Friday right before 4th of July, but it is. It's only one day again. There's only one thing to pick on this day. One thing. And I had to do it last year and I told you about it. But you know, it is what it is, right? You can improvise and say there's another day. But then you look it up and you know I was not telling the truth. So, but it is, it is Friday, July 2nd, and the national day is National Anacid Day. It's from the Anacid. They make licorice out of it. You know, it's got that black licorice flavor. You bake with it. Cookies, they're not too bad. They're very um, traditional old world cookies and acid cookies. But they make it into liqueurs and they can put in alcohol beverages. Sometimes it can be a little bitter. Sometimes you have to add different things to it so you don't have this kind of taste. Not everybody likes the taste of licorice. Back in the day, they used it for medical properties. They said it was good for your health, you know, an elixir type thing that people would go around selling. Kind of like Lucille Ball and her Vegemite Minimum Minimite. But it is. It is the national anacid. I would say go out and get some, but I wouldn't wish that on anybody. I like a good jelly bean, black jelly bean, but I don't think I can drink a bunch of it. It doesn't sound appealing. So everybody go out and have an icy cold drink of something else today and have a great 4th of July weekend on National Anacet Day. Anacet Day. Licorice flavor liqueur. I don't. This is the National Day. Oh, brother. What do you say about the licorice flavor and the liqueur? It's uh, too many L's in it. Uh, Don't really like the black licorice, Bobo say. And uh, the red licorice, you gotta have the, oh, the the one brand, the only one you do eat. Uh, the, oh, Bob can't remember. Don't really eat the licorice anymore. Anyway, here we go. Licorice day, hey, licorice day. Oh, ransom. I don't 
no never had no but uh we're doing for a Friday feel like uh feel like uh should be more exciting Bobo just rambling now have a good Friday everybody we will see you next week on the Bobo show hey huh never heard of it don't know anything about it. Okay. <laughs> but Gabriel got us some information on it. And uh, it's just one of those days where there's just not a lot going on on the National Day thing. So, hey, there we go. it for Friday. Remember, what do we got at Friday? We've got one o'clock, Insta Live, Insta Trivia, and oh yeah, it is different. You want to be there because it's not just staring at this beautiful mug anymore. It's checking out a little bit of this beautiful mug and then our folks, our staff, answering the questions, right or wrong, you decide who's got the right answer. You guys vote, right answer gets it, and we have a good time, lots of fun, shenanigans. Sea Dog got in there. I don't know if he's gonna be there this week or not. We'll see how it goes, but that's one o'clock today. Instagram, Insta Live, Insta Trivia. All right, that is it for Friday. Enjoy all your Zooms. We'll see you for the Insta Live, Insta Trivia. Otherwise, have a great, safe weekend, and we'll see you next week. Don't forget Monday, no program, but keep an eye out for a morning routine video. All right, everybody, take care.